Hello and welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8 and how I replace my water pump. In this video, which is episode 32 of my series of short videos of how I change my cam chains and tensioners, I'm going to details of how I replace my uh, water pump. I'm going to tell you why I replaced it, the coolant I used, and the draining and refill, and basically how I did it very quickly. It's a DIY job. Okay, why? Because the pulley impellers can fail over time. Now, if your car is over 20 years old, they're made of plastic, they do degrade, they go brittle, a bit fall off, and they can, can fail to work. Big, big problems. So normally people replace them replace for metal or new plastic ones. Okay, the tools you're going to need to do it are a torque wrench for tightening up the bolts, uh, maybe an oil um grip, an oil uh, filter grip to grip the pulley, uh, a ratchet, 8mm socket for the bolts of the pulley, um, a bar, uh, a T-bar and a 50mm socket. Now the bar, the T-bar and the 50mm socket are for releasing the auxiliary belt. Okay, so you're going to need some coolant as well. So this is going to be the red coolant. It's actually orange when you put it, when you look at it. You're going to lose about four liters of coolant. Now you can put it back in if you catch it without getting it dirty, but it's difficult. The mix, if you've got concentrate, is 50% uh, in the UK and uh, 50 to 30% roughly. Di dilute it with uh, ionized, deionized water or at least soft water is uh, recommended. Okay, so the spec of the antifreeze or coolant should be WSS M97B44D. If it's got it that on it, it's good enough. It meets the Ford Jaguar specification. Job done. Okay, first of all, you've got to get your auxiliary belt off. There's you get your T-bar and your 50 mil socket on the auxiliary tensioner pulley. Pull it towards you anti-clockwise and just pull the belt off. Easy as that. Then you get the, you move the uh, water pump pulley. You can do this ideally with the belt already on. You don't need the uh, the tie to hold it then. Undo it, come straight off three bolts, no problem. Then you need to consider how you're gonna catch these three or four liters of coolant and how you're gonna get it out. So my preference would be not to release any ho uh, hoses cause you're gonna drain even more fluid out and just put some buckets underneath and uh, catch it as it comes out of the water pump housing itself. So the water pump, it's got several bolts on the outside. Now there are two bolts you don't need to undo. Now these are the two furthest more left and right as seen on here. And the previous one actually marked these with some green paint. Uh, this is the, He put this one on new. So you don't need to remove those two. They're part of the water pump assembly itself. You remove all the others. And wait for the coolant release because it will come out for about four liters. If you're happy for it to come over your crankshaft pulley, it's probably the easiest way of doing it here. Don't have to release any uh, hoses or anything on the on the radiator. Just let it come through there. There's a minimum amount of fluid loss. Okay, so you'll you'll see something like this. You basically have to clean up the seal surface the best you can. Get rid of all the old uh, debris. Then just fit the new water pump with a gasket, tightening the M, uh, the eight millimeter AF bolts to 13 newton meters. Then you refit your uh, the pulley onto the water pump. Now you can actually hold this pulley while you torque it up to 12 newton meters without any trouble. So you don't need any special tools. That to be honest, if you really insist, you can double check it after you got the auxiliary belt on. The auxiliary belt. Then you need to. <laughs> Remember how it goes on. This is how it goes on. You need to put it on that way, all except the tensioner uh, pulley. You can put everything else on, leave that loose, and just do the reverse of it did before. So pull the pulley clockwise it did this, this time and slip the belt back on. Then you've got to top up. So you've lost about four liters of coolant. You need to fill it at the filler to the filler neck. Wait for about two minutes, squeezing the radiator uh, hoses is a good idea to try and get any excess air out. Then with the heating and the air conditioning off, 
run the engine until the fan starts so the engine's up to temperature basically then put the heating and the aircon on to maximum so it gets around the heater matrix now the heating and the aircon should come warm if they do you're okay you're happy switch the engine off then let it to cool down completely do not remove the filler cap when the engine's hot you're going to get scolded and you're going to end up with cooling ev coolant everywhere wait for it to cool down fully then take the coolant lid off and top it up again and all should be good fingers crossed okay thank you very much that's how to replace your water pump very easily it's a diy job as i said some basic tools if you need to have the right tools and the right coolant um, thank you for watching uh, please like comment share and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.